a spelling disaster. I am a horrible speller. Everybody knows that. But this was taken to another degree. I was in charge of designing an ad for a statewide uh, promotion. Uh, it was going to be distributed in 20 to 30 different magazine ads all across the state. Uh, so I was very happy with the ad. I got everything designed. The client approved it. Um, and so since it was approved, I was ready to send it to the printer to all the different magazines and publications. So this can get distributed statewide. Everything was going really well. Excited about seeing my work in front of hundreds of thousands of people. Perhaps more than a half a million people might be able to see my ad. This was high profile. This was great. So I got an email back from my client and the first ad they was shown in the newspaper. And it looked great, but there was one major error. I misspelled the state's name. Virginia has three eyes, not two. Oh my gosh, how could I do this? How can I misspell my own state? And it was major in the headline. This was not good. So the client asked if I can contact all the publications to make sure I make changes. So the newspaper was the only instance of the misspelling, but it was too late. It's already a couple of weeks have already passed and the, the newspapers and the magazines and the ad placements have already ran. It's too late. It was only a matter of time before a disaster would strike the whole state. I was a little bit lucky in the this misspelling is common and I actually was able to convince the client to give me a second chance. And they also admitted they also approved the project without reviewing the spelling as well. They didn't see it as well. So in the end, it ended up being both of our faults and uh, they agreed to, to let me continue to do work for them, which was a relief. Nothing really changed. I was really embarrassed, but I now know what I need to do in the future to prevent this from ever happening again. So how do you prevent this disaster from happening again? Always have a proofreader on your side. Never depend on the client to do any kind of proofreading for you. My husband happens to be a spelling and grammar whiz, so I always run anything by him, especially if it's gonna be on social media or large print projects. I don't wanna embarrass myself like that again. And it's amazing if you looked at a project for so long, you miss these spelling mistakes. So you have to pass it off to another set of eyes so they can take a fresh look at it. And one last thing, Virginia has three eyes. <laughs>